And with cycling's elite gathered here for the Tour Down Under, the big names of the professional peloton have described Lance Armstrong's web of lies as a kick in the guts. They say there's little he can do to redeem himself. The Tour Down Under village watched with the world. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. But the admissions only left more questions. It wasn't a deep and sincere apology, if that's what we're looking for. He has to name names. He doesn't seem to realise the incredu incredulous crime that he's committed. For the cycling fraternity, it was the final straw. Lance deceived everybody on the planet, you know, us included. To find out, you know, your hero's not really a the hero that he makes out to be, that's more disappointing than anything else. Lacking emotion and remorse, most believe the disgraced cyclist showed his true colours. I don't think anyone's feeling sorry for Lance. You're not really seeing uh, Lance crumble, crack uh, under the pressure. There's no, no doubt about it, it's a big kick in the guts, isn't it, for the sport. But for most competitors, it was business as usual. Now is a, a new start for the cycling, I, I hope. We have our race coming up soon and we, could, we would like to concentrate on that. Some cyclists weren't even allowed to give their opinion, telling Nine News that if they spoke publicly about the Lance interview, they'd be expelled from their team. But as the sport tries to move on, no doubt most will tune in for part two tomorrow. Virginia Langerberg, Nine News.